Hello Jelly Babes, welcome back to my channel. Well, isn't this just a little stunner? I'm so happy with how this turned out and I was able to achieve this by following a technique that was inspired and created by the fabulous sort of dual form poly gel queen that is Baby Girl Nails. <laughs> if you've not heard of her, I will leave links in the description box below, but I'll just get straight into how I uh, came up with this design so i'm using the fabulous stella today she is a practice hand i got this actually won this in a giveaway which i was like so overwhelmed that i never expected to win but this is from red iguana you know april ryan over on instagram so i'll leave links to this if you want to get your hands on one of these they are fantastic for practicing this kind of technique if you're a little bit unsure on how to you know work with poly gel so I'm going to be using these dual forms here. These are Beauty Big Bangs. I like the fact they come in this little case as well and they've got all the different sizes and shapes. I am going to be using Beauty Big Bangs Poly Gel as well or UV Builder Gel and their Slip Solution which you can use isopropyl alcohol. It's basically what you need to use. I, um, I did have a Born Pretty Poly Gel brush but I couldn't find it so I'm using Madame Glam's instead. So it's like a, a dual ended you know function brush so these are the uh, dual forms that i'm going to be using obviously i'm just going to be using the one today you obviously need to measure this up a different sizes obviously are going to apply to you you know from what i'm using to what you're using but what you basically need to do is make sure that it goes from side wall to side wall and you're not having to push it down like it needs to just sit nicely on the nail otherwise it's just it's it's just not going to work um so yeah so that's what i'm going to be using today obviously these are really handy because you can see with these little notches at the bottom that's obviously the free edge of the nail end not the cuticle end so i've put some of this slip solution into like a little actually it's a shot glass <laughs> and this is like the poly gel slash builder gel type product that i'm going to be using so basically you just want to get like a little ball on your spatula side you actually want to get more than what I've used on this if you want like, you know, a nice size nail. I kind of didn't, because basically I, I didn't put loads on because like Baby Girl Nails emphasizes the fact that this needs to be a really thin layer. It can't be thick and bulky because obviously you're adding things to it and then you're going to be adding another layer of the build, the poly gel on top of this. So <laughs> I went a little bit too uh, sparse but basically you're using the, the uh, isopropyl alcohol or the uh, poly gel solution slip solution whatever you want to make sure that your brush is quite no not quite wet you don't want it dripping you obviously need it to be wet to move the poly gel around so here you go I'm just adding some more now because it just wasn't enough and basically when you need to add some more slip solution is when the brush is like sticking to the poly gel you need to add some more and obviously make sure you wipe off the excess as well because you can apply too much of the slip solution and that waters down the poly gel so i'm just going to get this nail ready obviously I, um, you don't need to do this on your practice hand but this is what you would need to do if you were doing this on your own nails so I kind of use the dehydrator then I'm going to be using this Kiki London primer. It just adds that extra layer, like tacky layer and gets your nail nice and smooth, ready for the base coat. So those two products that I just used, they're air dry. You don't need to put those in a lamp. And then I'm using my Kiki London base coat. So you want to apply that like normal, make sure you don't get anything on your skin cure the free like seal the free edge and pop that into the lamp so with this by the way i haven't cured this because obviously i need to add the things that i'm encapsulating first and i'm going to be using these dried flowers to encapsulate um because these things they are so fiddly and can be a bit of a pain to work with because they are so delicate like they so easily break um so being able to like encapsulate it is probably the best way and the only way I can think of of uh you know having this look with you know an easy application so I'm basically just getting my tweezers and just like placing it onto the nail as you can see here trying not to press down too much because I don't want to move keep moving the poly gel underneath and then the bits that I haven't got anything I'm going to be using this these glitter arty loose glitters because it's like super pretty 
lovely spring colors as well and then you've got these cute little butterflies that you can add again this is a great way to use this type of glitter to add it and so your nails going to be nice and smooth not lumpy and bumpy um so yeah so this technique i have been dying to to use it because it just looked so fantastic and uh, baby girl nails came up with such a gorgeous design I think her and is it Growling Cheetah Kate are coming up with some awesome ideas using these products. So I had to have a go of it and I'm absolutely in love. It has actually really helped me as well with applying poly gel, like working with it. Because like my first attempt, it was so thick and bulky, it was ridiculous. <laughs> Whereas, you know, getting it nice and thin like this has really, really helped. So I've kind of like packed that now with the glitter that I wanted to um, use and obviously I cured that by the way uh, before I did this step I'm kind of like rambling on and not really paying attention to what's going on the screen so then you want to add another layer of the poly gel again it needs to be really thin because you don't want it to, to be thick really and you know it's gonna like cut down that file time as well so I'm just placing this over and just encapsulating it all in. You want to make sure that it is the thinnest at the cuticle edge because obviously that is an awkward place to file down. It's much easier to file your free edge if that's a bit bulkier than you would like. So there you go. That's it all encapsulated like so. And then because you've cured the first layer, when you press this down now, like not a lot of the solution moves about and obviously your design stays put, which was some an issue that they came up with when starting out, whether, you know, encapsulating things with poly gel. So they came up with this curing it first and then coming in and applying it on the second coat, which is just a genius idea. So you want to make sure that it hasn't like bulked up on the like on the underside of your nail, which it hadn't. So I've cured that now in a low heat mode. And with this, you know, it can just take a little time. You just need to make it it'll pop. You just keep applying the pressure and it will pop. And then it, that's lifted. And then you're just left with the stunning design. Let's just get in that little bit closer. So how gorgeous is that? Obviously, I will be uh, nipping off the bits that I don't want. But yeah, but that is so smooth. And I, I don't even need to file around the cuticle edge. So I am so, so impressed with this technique. Absolutely love it. And we'll definitely be doing more designs using this technique. So I'm just going to be using these like acrylic tip clipper things. Just to get rid of that bit of excess poly gel that I don't want. And it gives you that nice straight line to work with as well. So it's going to be very, very minimal filing. As you can see, it just doesn't need it. I'm just, I am over the moon with how this has turned out. I expected to come up with so many issues, um, but it really is as easy as Baby Girl made out for it to be. I followed those steps and this is the end result. So I'm just doing a little bit of filing. It's a little bit awkward trying to do it on this um, silicon hand because obviously it's not, the thing's not like pushed up into the cuticle. And then once you've done all that, you... Um, I don't know if I showed you applying the top coat or not. I think I've done that. I've showed you that the wrong way around. Like you don't need to wipe all that off yet. You would apply your top coat first, like I am doing here. Nice and thin and cure it. And then you'd wipe off the tacky layer. So I've just got a little bit mixed up there in editing. And there you go. See all that free edge and that is one nail done. So I absolutely love how this has turned out. I would love your feedback as well. Is this something that you would try? I mean, just look at how pretty it is. So I cannot thank Baby Girl Nails enough for coming up with these awesome ideas. She truly is <laughs> an awesome YouTuber and an awesome nailed artist. Um, so yeah, go check out her channel. It is amazing and Growling Cheetahs also. So that is it for today. I'm just going to show you it against like the uh, back up, black background just so you can see the colours that little bit more. But I'm so impressed with this technique. It really is easy to achieve and it's the thinnest I have ever done um, a poly gel nail, like sculpting it myself. So, you know, 
bigging up myself here but hey <laughs> i'm really impressed so yeah so thank you so much for watching jelly babes i um i really do appreciate all of your support all of the time with all of my videos um so make sure you press that subscribe if you haven't done so already it's free to do give this video a thumbs up leave a comment and yeah take care and i'll see you in the next one bye